Okay, tonight we're doing a cinnamon roll bake. Uh, we got two of the Cats crew members here tonight, and will you want to explain what you're making? We're going to make what looks to be like plain old cinnamon rolls from Walmart, great value brand. But by the time we get done with this, it will be a much better <laughs> version version of a cinnamon roll. So um, it'll be gooey cinnamon rolls when we get done. So okay, so we're gonna make these gooey gooey cinnamon rolls. Uh, we start off by turning the stove on, 350. You want to do that or you want me to? And everybody wash their hands. Look at all these yummy ingredients. Okay, so the stove is now heating up. It's at 350. So what we're going to do now is we're going to butter the dish. I'm going to let Jesse do that. By the way, we did wash our hands. <laughs> Take this and butter the whole dish and on the inside. While he is doing that, I'm going to take another full stick of butter, real butter. And I'm going to put that into a bowl because we're going to need to melt that all the way down. Alrighty. <clears throat> I'm going to got a knife here. I'm going to cut the butter in half so it fits all the way in the bowl. Okay. Then we're going to put this in the microwave and melt it all the way down. We'll start off for 40 seconds and see if that works. Sounds good. This is a little extra icing, cream cheese icing that we got in case we didn't have enough, but I think there's probably enough with the cinnamon rolls. <clears throat> okay. So now we have our, our dish buttered that we're gonna be putting the cinnamon rolls in. So now uh, we're gonna open the cinnamon rolls up. These are just cheap, great value brand Walmart cinnamon rolls. Just don't need anything Pillsbury or any of that stuff. Just cheap, uh, great value brand will work just fine. Okay? So we're gonna open these up and we're gonna take these cinnamon rolls, Jesse, and we're just gonna lay these in the dish. Just like this. Right next to each other and you wanna come all the way across. Okay, that's the icing packet. Let's just set that to the side. Let's do the cinnamon rolls. And I'll get the second pack opened. Okay, now we want to take this last cinnamon roll because we have two packs of cinnamon rolls in here. And you just want to peel these little pieces off and stick those in between like that. Basically, you're just filling in the gaps and they're going to rise. Uh, whenever you cook the cinnamon rolls, so. Good idea. So we'll put these in here. Okay, that should just about do it. All right, so now we have all those in there. Our next thing that we wanna do is we wanna add whipping cream. Heavy whipping cream. Okay. Okay, uh, we're gonna make the mixture that's actually gonna go on top of the cinnamon rolls. Yeah, normally you just probably have cinnamon rolls, put them in a pan, bake them, yummy. But this is a little bit different. We're gonna add to this recipe a little bit, just to have some fun and it tastes really good. So uh, what we're gonna do is make a mixture that's actually gonna go on top of these cinnamon rolls. Uh, and Jesse will now begin to add the two cups uh, one of them is a half a cup and the other one is a third a cup because we need three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. It goes in the blue bowl. Pour it in. All of it, just dump it in. Same with the green one. Dump all that in. Okay, then we need to put the, add the butter. This is a whole stick of butter. Add the butter. Add the butter. That would be great today. <laughs> dump it all in. Just dump the whole thing in. Thank you. 
Okay. We're going to try to get the rest of that out of there so it's all out. Okay, that's good. Now, I'm going to get the cinnamon. And we're going to give that a couple good big shakes in there. A couple big shakes. Not little shakes, big shakes. <laughs> okay, that'll do it. Okay, that's just an eyeball thing on your own. We're also going to get a teaspoon worth of salt. So we're just going to use a teaspoon here. I'm going to open the salt up. I'm going to put this over here so I don't get too much in there. Okay. Looks like sugar. Jeez. And that's the salt that goes in. Okay. That's <clears throat> done. Now stir it all up, Jess. Stir it up real good. Take your fork. Turn it around. There you go. Okay. You think that's good? Mm -hmm. Looks good. Okay. I'll take that. Give it a couple whisks just to make sure. All looks pretty good. That is your mixture of brown sugar, pinch of salt, and uh, a, one whole stick of butter. This okay. is going to top top it when, once we're finished with the whipping cream. Now we're time, it's time for the whipping cream. Basically, you're going to take this, and we're just going to pour this whipping cream in here. It needs to go about halfway up on the uh, cinnamon rolls, like so. Okay. All right, yeah, looks pretty good. Okay, now that that's done, a little cinnamon rolls in there. We have the whipping cream on there. We're pretty well ready to just start pouring this stuff in. Okay, so we're just gonna go over this slightly. We'll, we'll move it around a little bit once we get it all in there, too. Yeah, okay. and the dogs want to join in. He's not getting attention. Gosh, he can't stand it. Usually we're sitting down and he's on me getting love. <laughs> oh no. Is that better? A little chicken butt. You're so spoiled. Okay. That should just about do it now. And the pecans. There's no pecans. No, not in this one? No. Okay. No cons. This is just a basic cinnamon roll mixture. Um, those are the icing mm. packets. Obviously, we'll put those in a little bit later once we uh, once they get done. We're gonna put these in the oven now. We're gonna cook these for 20 minutes on 350. Okay. Okay. Yes, our dog makes very strange sounds. All right, there we go. Put the timer on. We're ready. Shut up. 20 more minutes. And that's the one that needs a haircut horribly. <laughs> we'll be back. So something I failed to mention when you bake this. You need to cover your pan with aluminum foil cook it on 350 for 45 minutes, not 20 minutes like I think, like I said. 45 minutes at 350 and cover your dish with aluminum foil, okay? All righty. Okay, now we're gonna, we're gonna ice these. So if you would, Jesse, you could probably take a pair of scissors here. Like this. Those look pretty good. Cut this off. And then you can squeeze it and just go back and forth on them. Okay? Pretty little squirrelies. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Got another whole pack, so. <clears throat> Put it on there good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> These nice. look like they're going to be pretty good. Mm hmm We may not even need that one extra can. Mm, yeah, we will. <laughs> Comes with it, you gotta use it up. I mean that, this can. No, we won't need that at all. Yeah, but 
but the other okay, pack. Pull that one yeah. away, and then we'll cut the end off that pack. Just cut the tip of it off. That's okay. Come okay. on over. Go ahead. Yummy, yummy. It looks good. Yep. <clears throat> Can't wait to try it. Get some down the middle. Yeah, get some down in the centers here. Good job. Yeah, that is going to be pretty good. Okay, we're about to cut into these cinnamon rolls now. <clears throat> Put some goodness there. Yum. Wow, those look really good. That is Mm. Hmm. This is a new way of doing them. Mm -hmm. Me and Jess. Okay. All right, let's try this new recipe out and see how oh this my works. God. That's good. That's really good. Oh, wow. We're okay. You lie. Those are really, really good. <laughs> yep. One was really good. Adding that heavy whipping cream is really yeah, spot hands on. Hands down, right than regular cinnamon rolls. These are just better texture, fresh tasting, unbelievable good taste. Those are really good. Anybody else? So literally, cheap Walmart cinnamon rolls, heavy whipping cream, a little bit of added extra cinnamon, a stick of butter, uh, three quarters of a cup of brown sugar, and a pinch <clears> of salt. <throat> Put aluminum foil on, cook them at 350 for 45 minutes. Taste much better than just getting a pack of cinnamon rolls and throwing them into a dish. Yep. You'll love them. They taste pretty darn good. <laughs> Until next time, please like and subscribe. Bye. See ya. Peace.